Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I've got some great news for all of you Raspberry Pi users out there. An official 64-bit Ubuntu 20.10 desktop version was released for the Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 400. And in this video I'm going to show you how to install it step by step. The special part about this release is that you no longer have to install the Ubuntu server image in order to install the desktop version of Ubuntu. Apart from that, this OS is also fully optimized for the Raspberry Pi and includes GNOME together with a couple of other optimized apps. Unfortunately, Ubuntu 20.10 isn't an LTS version, meaning they will only be supported for 9 months. If you want to find out more about this OS, you can check out the released notes linked in the description below. And now let's get started. First of all, to install Ubuntu 20.10, you'll have to download the ISO file containing the OS itself by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to the official website. Then click on Get Ubuntu for the Raspberry Pi and select the OS as well as the model you're using. Personally, I'm using the Raspberry Pi 4GB model. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balen Etcher flasher, by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, simply open up the flash and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that I'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 32GB one. And click on flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. And don't worry, only the first boot will take this long. As you can see, the Pi is successfully booted up and you can now begin with a basic setup process. Then just give it a bit of time to set everything up and you'll have full access to your official Ubuntu 20.10 desktop. Additionally, you can install a ton of apps from the pre-installed Ubuntu App Store. From here you can install apps like Gparted, Plex and many more. Overall, the OS seems to be running pretty stably, however, I would highly recommend you overclock your Pi to get as much power out of it and to make Ubuntu run a lot smoother. If you want to know how to do that, simply click on the info card in the top right corner of the screen. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and liked the OS. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.